Looking forward to a futuristic battlefield of 1991, the Army has recognized the need for an improved scout helicopter. As a result of this need, a decision was made to pursue the acquisition of a near-term scout helicopter under the auspices of the AHIP, the Army Helicopter Improvement Program. The Combat Development Experimentation Center, CDEC, conducted operational testing of the AHIP for the U.S. Army Operational Test and Evaluation Agency, OTIA, from September 1984 through February 1985 at Fort Hunter Liggett, California. Playing a critical role in the air-land battle, the OH-58 Delta Aero Scout evolved from an observation helicopter that has served the U.S. Army for over a decade. The OH-58 Delta Aero Scout incorporates a four-blade composite main rotor system, upgraded drive system, and mission-sized tail rotor, an engine that provides power margins required for nap of the earth, high agility maneuvering, and the endurance to fly with the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. The OH-58 Delta is equipped with visionic equipment, specifically the mast-mounted sight subsystem. This enables the OH-58 Delta to acquire, locate, and designate a target during day-night operations or in obscured atmospheric conditions while maintaining a survivable standoff range. Integrated into the OH-58 Delta is the laser designation rangefinder, a daylight TV, and thermal sights. The OH-58 Delta was further enhanced by communication equipment which provided for mode four identification, friend or foe, IFF, as well as simultaneous secure communication with other helicopters, ground elements, close air support aircraft, and distant command and control elements. The purpose of the AHIP OH-58 Delta operational test tube was to provide data to support an independent evaluation of the operational effectiveness and suitability of the OH-58 Delta. This data will be presented to the Army Systems Acquisition Review Council, asark 3 and will be used to base a decision concerning the production of the OH-58 Delta. Conducted by CDAC Team 2, the AHIP OH-58 Delta Operational Test 2 was performed as a Blue Force versus an opposing Red Force. B Troop, 2nd of the 17th Cavalry Squadron, 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault, from Fort Campbell, Kentucky, portrayed the main Blue Force. Blue Force ground support was provided by Armor Company ESC CDEC Fort Ord, located at Fort Hunter Liggett, California. The fire support team of Headquarters, Headquarters Company, 2nd of the 35th Field Artillery, 24th Infantry Division from Fort Stewart, Georgia, and the combined efforts of Headquarters, Headquarters Company, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie Batteries, 1st of the 17th Field Artillery, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, also provided ground support for the Blue Force. The 1st of the 17th Field Artillery also supported the opposing Red Force as a fire direction center. Portraying the advancing ground troop forces, the opposing Red Force was comprised of not only the fire direction center, but also the troops of Bravo and Delta Companies, 4th of the 64th Armor, 24th Infantry Division, Fort Stewart, Georgia, and Charlie Company, 7th Combat Aviation Battalion, 7th Infantry Division, Fort Ord, California. In order to obtain the required data for the test, the following test issues had to be addressed. The operational effectiveness of the aircraft, survivability, vulnerability, and the adequacy of organization, tactics, and doctrine for effective employment of the OH-58 Delta, the operational RAM, reliability, availability, maintainability of the aircraft, in conjunction with logistical supportability, as well as information on personnel selection and the training program for operators and maintenance personnel. Human factors and safety information on the performance of both air crew and maintenance personnel was also obtained. The AHIP OH-58 Delta Operational Test 2 was conducted in three phases. Phase 1 consisted of personnel selection and training made up of briefings, lesson plans, programs of instruction, and general RTEP guidelines. Evaluation of this phase was conducted jointly by OTIA and the TRADOC Deputy Test Director from the Aviation Center at Fort Rucker, Alabama, 
portions of these evaluations continued throughout the test. The non-live fire phase, or phase two, was divided into three subtests designed for a comparative study of the OH-58 Delta and the baseline OH-58 Charlie aircraft. The first of the subtests was force on force mission events designed to test the OH-58 Delta's ability to perform during various Aero Scout mission profiles. The Scout Detectability subtest consisted of different threat detections capability to detect either an unmasked OH-58 Charlie, an OH-58 Delta with its airframe unmasked, or an OH-58 Delta with only the mast mounted sight unmasked. At the end of the Force on Force Phase II segment of the AHIP OH-58 Delta operational test, another experiment was conducted in response to a request from the Office of the Secretary of Defense. The Scout Gun Mix Sensitivity Experiment utilized the same scenario and equipment from the AHIP testing, but with a different purpose in mind. The 12 trials for the Scout Gun Mix exercise combined up to three Scout aircraft with two gunships AH-64 Apaches. This experiment was conducted to gain, for doctrinal purposes, understanding on what mix of Scout and gunships would be needed for effective air-land battle employment. Upon completion of the Scout Gun Mix Sensitivity Experiment, the AHIP OH-58 Delta operational test continued with its live fire phase. Phase three consisted primarily of event missions to gather data on timeline events, hit miss, and the operability of the OH-58 Delta in comparison with the AH-64 Hellfire and field artillery systems. Field artillery systems included both Copperhead and conventional M198 howitzer artillery. Representing a part of the Red Force, surrogated M60A3 tanks were used. During testing, only the main gun was instrumented with laser weaponry. Other forms of instrumentation used, including a weapons effect smoke generating simulator or Huffman device, were computer communications controls necessary for receiving and recording the various data input transmitted through the engagement line of sight system, direct fire sensors, and laser designator detectors. All data collected by either electronic or manual means was relayed from the field of battle and processed at the computer center located at Fort Hunter Liggett. Data derived from this test will be used in conjunction with other AHIP data, such as the AHIP DT-2, to assist in the evaluation being conducted by the Army Systems Acquisition Review Council, ASRK-3. Detailed results of the AHIP OH-58 Delta Operational Test 2 can be obtained from the U.S. Army Operational Test and Evaluation Agency, OTIA.